this is one of my favorite plants and uh, I am sure that everybody or most of you recognize this plant and it's basil. Now basil is not only good for seasoning like you can uh, see it especially on Italian and uh, some Asian uh, uh, foods but uh, it, it uh, is amazing on pizza, pasta, oh my goodness and the flavor it is amazing. I just love this plant but it is also amazing for uh, medicinal purposes such as it reduces uh, the mental loss, depression. It's an amazing antioxidant. Uh, it is a natural antibiotic and uh, it does relax the blood vessels so it uh, helps with the thinning of the blood just like uh, aspirin. Uh, it it uh, increases mental alertness and uh, all the time that I see this plant, now I have my own plant, I always pick at it a little bit and I chew on it because it's so good because it inhibits or slows down the growth of a bacteria which uh, causes uh, uh, dental decay. So what I usually do to make it last a long time, first of all this plant needs a lot of water and uh, the way you pick at it so you don't ruin the plant, you just remove just the top part of the plant like this, like that, just a little part like that and uh, you can chop it up you know and uh, uh, put it in the spaghetti sauce, oh it smells so good but I love to just chew on it. Anyway. If you're new on this channel, welcome! My name is Maria from Aglai Aesthetics Online. I do a lot of tutorials on health and wellness so I hope that you stick until the end because I love for you to uh, give me comments below and most of all subscribe and share this information with others. To, with my uh, subscribers, you know, thank you so much, you mean a world to me. So back to the basil, amazing amazing little plant that is also very very good for uh, uh, controlling the level of sugar in your blood and so it has all major major benefits. So today it's going to be about hacks, fake or fact and I have four different treatments that I would like to share with you right now. The first one that I would like to talk about is about ice and uh, I've seen a lot of beauty gurus that what they do, they uh, do the, this ice treatment and they do all over the face. What they say is that by doing this uh, treatment like this okay throughout the face it will bring you glow it will uh, help you with a reduction of oils <laughs> it's cold it will help you with uh, uh, collagen stimulation um, acne on and on and on mm, I don't think so uh, what is good for is good for inflammation so if you have any swellness or inflammation Yes, ice packs are good to use. I also like to use uh, this ice on cold sores. <laughs> um, when, you know exactly what it is. When it starts to come out, it feels like a little prickly little thing and uh, you, you know that something is going to happen. So when you feel that, just go get an ice cube and put it on and what it does, it prevents for the cold sore to bloom and uh, I have a tutorial on that so I'm not going to sp specifically spend too much time on uh, cold sores. So is ice cubes a fake or fact? Well in my opinion unless it's for a cold sore or a reduced uh, uh, swellness and inflammation I would say it is a fake. Uh, micro needling, but it needs to be done correctly please. Um, so let me talk about and I do have a tutorial on that specifically on micro needling. Our skin is a barrier and with uh, the acid mantle it protects us from um, the environment and however when you do micro needling uh, it, you're causing uh, like little holes it doesn't matter if you're using the Doma roller or the pen, you're causing little channels and these little channels are, are, are uh, go deeper into the dermis 
and you're causing um, stimulation, first damage and then stimulation of the fibroblast. And so then in turn, the fibroblast will repair the collagen fibers. If you do it too frequently, now this is uh, the, uh, the something that you need to really pay attention because if you do it too often, it is a fake because you're gonna cause more problems because you do need to give it time to repair. So please look at that tutorial. Depending on the length of needle, that's when you would redo that treatment. Um, so as a home use, 0 0.25, uh, 0 0.5, 0 0.75, it's okay. How frequently? Maybe every two to three weeks, depending how long that needle is. If you're comfortable with yourself and you have done it quite often and you feel comfortable, the one millimeter could be okay, but you have to wait one month because if you overdo it, you're overstimulating, causing the reverse. If you're going beyond the one millimeter, I would not advise it for home use. I wouldn't. Uh, the 1.5 in the aesthetic spa, the esthetician can do that for you. Another thing that I want to mention that when you're doing these uh, channels or these uh, uh, holes in your skin, be very careful not to use any uh, peels or acids because you're gonna cause more problems. The holes itself, the micro channels, it's a treatment on its own. If you wanna use a, an aloe vera to, for soothing or some gels or hyaluronic acid, I would say okay but that's it nothing like a peel or anything like a glycolic acid absolutely not a fake or fact it depends what you're going to do so it is a a fact if it's done properly it is a fake when you're doing it every day causing more problems with your protection the skin it is an amazing barrier do not destroy it that what i'm telling you is from experience and from knowledge but if you don't agree with me that is okay let's agree to disagree and uh, you have to do your own research whatever it is right for you my next uh, uh, procedure that i'm quite against and i have a, actually other two tutorials on this is actually um, dermoblading or dermoplaning depending how you call it i call it shaving uh, now let's step back a little bit here if you are uh, you have a hair growth first of all if it is hormonal please go to your doctor to an endocrinologist to find out why you're having hair growth to get that under under control uh, if you are a certain nationality that you have if you are hairy now and you cannot afford other procedures then maybe shaving it is a process for you now i want to step back here for a second because some individuals will ask me but maria uh, how about waxing well for me waxing the face is also a no-no waxing for my opinion is from the neck down where you have terminal hair however some individuals will wax their face will wax their eyebrows for me, waxing or pulling the hair out, you're causing additional stimulation. And in my opinion, it's not good. If I have this uh, particular diagram here and I'm pulling the bulb out, you okay, can see that right here? And pulling the bulb out. It sends the message to the brain and the brain says, oh, 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 there's a damage there. Let's have additional blood to repair that area guess what with the blood a lot of nutrients go to the area and that hair will come back most likely stronger and deeper so waxing okay for underarms bikini brazilian legs i find that is okay for the face i don't think it is a good idea so now you're going to tell me well, okay maria so shaving is not good waxing is not good what is good and I cannot afford laser or electrolysis. So I would say to you, you know what, if that really bothers you, then I would put my pennies together and I would get either laser or electrolysis. But if that's something that you don't want to do, if I have to make a choice between waxing the face and shaving, then I would say, you know what, 
uh, go and shave because she will not uh, damage uh, or stimulate additional hair growth. Now, when we do shaving, okay, or call it dermablading or dermaplaning, when you're shaving, you're actually not only cutting the hair, but you're also cutting or getting nicking uh, this hair, the, the skin. So you are going causing micro cutting. So that is the reason why I don't like uh, shaving. But if you're doing the certain area, say the chin or the upper lip or the jawline because you're having hair growth, then that is maybe the, the best of, of, of the two evils, okay? What I get upset is when I see a young lady, I hear us a little picture here, a lot, young lady that has no hair growth, uh, there's no hormonal reasons, there's no problem, but she is deciding to shave her face because she hurt her girlfriend uh, and she wants to remove all the peach fuzz because um, the, the foundation goes on nicer or it's uh, because they want to remove the dead skin by removing the, the skin like a, an exfoliation, uh, then the products will absorb better. And that's true. When you do good exfoliation, the skin is absorbing much better because you're removing all the dead skin. But there is different ways of removing the dead skin without removing the little peach fuzz. So doing this procedure here for no reason I feel that is not something that it is uh, uh, good. So to step back, if you have um, hair growth because it's hormonal or hereditary and you cannot afford laser or electrolysis, then if I have to choose between waxing and shaving, then I would say shaving. But for me, this is a fake, not a fact. Okay, so the last one for today, it is that vacuum suction. And uh, there is a reason why to do vacuum suction, but please, please, you have to do it right. Now, when we look at, and I have, I have diagrams here, so when you look at a comedon, so a blackhead, so here is a picture. So what you notice here is that you see this little black little dot, but it's not only in the top here, it's all the way down. So if you're using the vacuum suction to pull it out, guess what? You're not only pulling out the little uh, blackhead, but you're causing additional problems. Okay, I have another picture here. Okay, so near, so the blackhead would be in, would be in this area here, but as you're pulling uh, with a vacuum suction, we have all these little capillaries throughout the skin. So guess what? When you do the vacuum suction, you're also pulling the blood from the little capillaries. So now you will have a pooling, you will have blood all over the place here, and it looks like a hickey. And uh, basically that's what a hickey is. You have sucked the blood outside the little blood capillaries. Vacuum suction, if that's something that you want to do, you need to do it correctly, okay? So how do you do it? So you don't prove, you not cause any of those are bruising, is first of all, do a light scrub. So by doing a light scrub, you're cleaning uh, the, the pores. That's the first thing. So get a bowl of water, put some baking soda, get a face cloth if you don't have a steamer, Put, get a face cloth and then you are going to do packs for maybe five to 10 minutes. What that happens is that the baking soda uh, will soften the pores or the ostia. So then when you go with the, the vacuum suction and you go gently in that area, it will gently pull the, the little blackhead, not the full thing, maybe the, just the surface. And that will, by doing these steps, that will prevent the bruising. After you've done uh, your vacuum suction, then please use a nice um, cleansing mask. And the mask will help to, uh, uh, to clean uh, or to uh, tighten. There's no close or open the pores, but will tighten the pore. And so you're giving yourself a nice little treatment. So just to get the little vacuum suction and just don't do that. And do not have high intensity just very, very lightly. So is the vacuum a fake or a fact? 
Well, if you do it properly, as I mentioned to you before, step by step, it is a fact because by doing it correctly, you can clean out the pores and then you can tighten them with a nice mask. A cute little treatment. However, if you do it incorrectly, it's a fake because at the end of the treatment, you will have bruising and it doesn't look good and it takes a sometimes a week for the bruise to go away and sometimes you might cause a broken capillaries which those capillaries will not go away so please be very careful well i hope that you enjoyed this tutorial i have please put comments below tell me what you do what are the different treatments that you enjoy so i can give you my opinion my point of view again this is maria and i will talk with you very very soon Take care. Hey, Julie. <laughs>